10 Tips Oberhausen Oberhausen is a large city in North Rhine-Westphalia and belongs to the administrative district of Dusseldorf. The city is nicknamed the Cradle of the Ruhr Industry, because of the St. Anthony Ironworks, which began operation in the 18th century. But Oberhausen has even more to offer. Here are the 10 best tips you can't miss in Oberhausen. The landmark of Oberhausen, the gasometer. The gasometer was originally a coke oven gas storage facility, which is now considered the most extraordinary exhibition hall in Europe. With a proud height of 117 meters, the interior offers a unique spatial experience through the 7 to 8 times echo. A panoramic glass elevator takes you up to the dome, where you can look out over the entire western Ruhr region. The gasometer is considered one of the most interesting sites of Oberhausen. Vonden Castle Vonden Castle is a late Gothic secular building. How old the castle is exactly, is unfortunately unknown. According to conjectures, a building with a rampart and palisade fence should have existed more than a thousand years ago. The castle itself dates back to different periods, historians assume that the construction began in the 13th century, whereas the gate and the southern defensive wall were built only in the 16th century. Cornices, windows and vaults are rather late Gothic ornamental forms. The main house itself, on the other hand, was built in the Baroque period. Guided tours of the castle are possible, but they are conducted only by appointment. The Baumeister Mill The Baumeister Mill dates back to the middle of the 19th century and has been extensively renovated. Thus, it is now fully functional again and interested visitors can gain insight into the original craft of a miller. A visit to the mill also offers the perfect combination of culture and culinary delights, as the Tower Windmill has a restaurant attached to it whose excellent cuisine is an insider tip. The Eisenheim Workers' Settlement The Workers' Settlement is around 150 years old, making it the oldest workers' settlement from the industrialization period in the Ruhr region. It is also one of the oldest surviving settlements in Germany. It was built in several construction phases starting in 1846 on a 7 hectare site. After that, two and one and a half story semi-detached houses were built in various styles. Since 1991, the settlement has been listed as a historical monument. The history of life and work in the workers' settlement can be viewed in detail in an exhibition in the settlement's former wash house at Berliner Strasse 10a. The Altmarkt those who like to visit markets should not miss the Altmarkt. Surrounded by the Neo-Gothic Hall Church of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and secular buildings from the turn of the century, the Altmarkt is located in the middle of the old Oberhausen city center and is the focal point of the city's market activities. From Monday to Saturday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., a weekly market is set up around the Friedensaal, Peace Column, at the Altmarkt. Around 40 market traders then offer their diverse fresh produce for sale. In good weather, this often results in a southern flair, as many foods for southern cuisine are offered. But also friends of the local cuisine will find food. A visit promises in any case a very appetizing shopping spree. The Koenig Pilsener Arena The Koenig Pilsener Arena is a temple of entertainment and one of the most successful multifunctional arenas in Germany. It offers a wide range of show, sports and music events. The arena allows 13,000 visitors to celebrate a unique experience in an extraordinary temple, whether rock, folk or classical music, musicals, comedy or sporting events. Due to the seating comfort, the good visibility, the pleasant air conditioning and the special atmosphere, every visit to the arena becomes a special experience. The Koenig Pilsener Arena also offers around 14,000 free parking spaces for its visitors and is only about a minute's walk from Centro. The Sea Life Aquarium Germany's largest sea life aquarium and Germany's largest shark breeding facility are located on an exhibition area of around 4,000 square meters. Visitors can experience the fascinating underwater world up close by observing gigantic sea creatures such as rays, sharks or turtles through acrylic glass tunnels. By means of a glass-bottomed boat, visitors can sail over a gigantic tropical reef to marvel at the underwater world. The Sea Life Aquarium has around 5,000 different sea creatures in more than 50 tanks, including an area for breeding sharks and an otter station in the outdoor area. Visitors learn numerous tips about active marine conservation and its inhabitants. It is best to combine a visit to Sea Life with a stay at the Legoland Discovery Center. Oberhausen's Theatre Stages and the International Short Film Festival. 
Oberhausen has a number of theatre stages to offer, which makes the hearts of culture lovers beat faster. So while you stroll through the alleys and streets during the day, you should definitely plan a visit to the multi-award winning theatre Oberhausen in the evening. For all friends of folk theatre, the Kleinstädter Bühne, an amateur theatre, is certainly the right thing to do, as it focuses primarily on tradition. But also the theatre in Der Nieberg provides good entertainment. It also organizes arts and crafts markets several times a year. Those who prefer to visit a musical of the big stage will also find what they are looking for, because the Metronome Theatre plays the big classics at the highest level. For those who would rather spend an evening enjoying cabaret and cabaret, the Theatre Ebertbad or the Zentra Moltenberg, which is often also a venue for concerts or exhibitions, offer the best entertainment. Once a year, since 1954, Oberhausen has also become the center of the International Short Film Festival for one week. This makes it the oldest short film festival in the world. It is the only festival in Germany to also offer an international children's short film competition. Guests from all over the world visit Oberhausen during this time. Centro. Centro is Europe's largest shopping and leisure paradise. More than 250 stores are spread over about 120,000 square meters of retail space on two levels. Numerous international restaurants with Mexican, Greek, Chinese or Italian cuisine spoil you in a relaxed atmosphere on the so-called Centro Promenade, a 400 meters long gastronomic promenade with 4,000 outdoor seats. In addition, Europe's second largest food court, the Coca-Cola Oasis, can be found here. Evening and nightly entertainment is also provided, as various pubs, cocktail bars and exclusive clubs promise the best atmosphere and variety not only during the week but also on weekends until the early morning. The Koenig Pilsener Arena, the Sea Life Aquarium and the Legoland Discovery Center are also located on the Centro grounds. The latter invites young and old to enter the unique play world of Lego. Here you can not only marvel, but also experience, discover and build yourself. It should be noted, however, that an online ticket should be booked before a visit, because on particularly busy days, such as holidays or weekends, admission is only possible in this way. Trips to museums, galleries and ateliers. Oberhausen offers a number of exhibitions in different galleries. Due to the variety, personal orientations can almost be covered. Among others, the Ludwig Gallery Castle Oberhausen with the Romantic Kaisergarten should be mentioned, which offers three different exhibition directions in its special ambience. A special attraction is also the Bunker Museum, which was originally a high bunker. Here you will find mainly documentary exhibitions on local and contemporary history. Conclusion If you pay a visit to Oberhausen, you will not be bored, because you will simply love the diverse cultural and artistic landscape. Stroll through the old streets during the day, take a stroll through the Altmarkt with its unique market scene and southern flair, visit the many historical sites, the numerous exhibitions in museums, galleries and studios and feast on the many culinary offerings around the attractions. In the evening, the best way to end the day is with a play or a cabaret. If you still feel like some entertainment afterwards, you will certainly be able to party in the many bars or pubs until the early hours of the morning. In Oberhausen there is something going on around the clock,